This year was our 13th annual Lake Mirror Classic Festival and auction. We had over 45 cars that were up in the auction area up off of Main Street. We had 650 cars down here, um, both around Lake Mirror uh, here in Lakeland, as well as up on 12 city blocks up in the city. The festivities kick off on Friday night with Hot Rod Rendezvous and the Hot Rod Rendezvous is hot rods parked in and around Lake Muir. We have a live band, big sort of social party. People come out and bring blankets and camp out. And up in the Magnolia building, we have uh, hors d'oeuvres, light hors d'oeuvres and drinks for people that come and come to look at the auction cars. Okay, it's a real pleasure to be here. I've done a lot of Concord de Elegance events with this car. So it's Boca Raton, Hilton Head. Uh, I haven't done Amelia Island yet, but this is by far the nicest location I've ever seen for a Concord de Elegance car show. It is absolutely superb. The organization was superb. I'm very, very impressed by the professionalism and the high class and high standard of this show. The location, perfect, and look at the weather. I mean, you can't beat it. about 14 years old my dad who was an attorney asked me if I wanted to look at a uh, an old car he had a, a an estate that he was settling I said can I buy it and he said no you can't buy it you're too young I can't sell it to you anyway and anyway this is the part that was important he said it's uh, it's an old car you can't get parts for him the day before I was 16 I asked him if I could buy a car and he said if you got the money I said, okay I got the money so fine so he thought I was going to buy a Plymouth, and I bought this car. I used $500 of my 1000 to buy it, and he was very upset when he came home. Among other things, he called me a damn fool. I enjoyed it for, uh, let's see, from 47 until 64. And in 64, my company was two years old, and it was very underfunded to start with, and even worse at that point. So I went into the bank showed him my statement and the guy said, I won't give you money, but I'll send you flowers. So at that point I had to sell. The next year we made the first profit and the business became very good. We still own it. So uh, after about a year and a half, I, um, I went back to the guy that bought it and asked him if he'd sell it back to me and he wouldn't. So 40 years later, he finally decided that he would. Seven o'clock Saturday morning, we start bringing in all the cars around Lake Mirror. We have cars from early cars, antique cars, all the way up to more modern cars, uh, going up to only 1976. Some of the cars that you'll see, some of the earlier cars, are much like this 1935 Rolls Royce behind me that, in its time, sold for over $20,000, which is a lot of money considering back in 1935, the average house only sold for between $3,000 and $5,000. Up, up on the city blocks are more modern cars. Um, we had Ferraris, Lamborghinis, uh, Porsches, behind me is a 1935 Phantom II. Uh, that was the high-end luxury car even by Rolls-Royce standards in the 30s and this is one of the last Phantom IIs manufactured. I purchased it about six years ago out of Vermont and it's an interesting story about how I found out about it. I'm in all the Rolls-Royce clubs because of the Merlin and other aircraft engines I have but I always wanted to own a car. 
particularly a Phantom II. To me, that's the cream de la cream of the pre-war Rolls Royces. In 01, 2001, I was asked to drive this car at a wedding. The current owner, his son was getting married and wanted me to drive the car for his son's wedding, which I did. And uh, it's kind of interesting that the bride, she'd never even seen the car. And it's kind of a day like this, kind of warmish. And I, I drove up to her house, pick her up, and she took one look at the car, and she said, where's the air conditioning? I said, uh, I'm sorry, uh, they didn't have air conditioning in 1935. Oh, I can't ride in this car, my makeup's gonna run. Oh, I can't do it. So I was in panic mode. The guy had driven the car from uh, Vermont to uh, North Carolina, Winston-Salem. I thought, my goodness, I'm in panic mode here. What am I gonna do? Fortunately, one of the bridesmaids got the bride all settled down. Everything worked out fine. It wasn't as uncomfortable as she thought it would be. In fact, I think she enjoyed the ride. Anyway, fast forward to about six years ago, I found out that the owner had passed away and the car was available immediately. I purchased it sight unseen. The event was attended from somewhere between 45 and 50,000 people. It is a community event, meaning it is free to, to the community. And the way that we do that is through all of our sponsors. We have over two dozen sponsors that all come together and pitch in to make this event happen so that it is free for the community and it is great for, for Lakeland. Within, a, within about a week after the event, we will have all of the uh, highlights and photos of our winners and car winners up on our website. And we'll start to give you information about the 2013 event. And that website is www.lakemirrorclassic.com.